Continuing with the uh, with the routing methods. These are for those of you who weren't here or something. Uh, Yang Chan invented root methods. So forgive me if I'm laughing. I'm an Aussie, um, and it means something totally different to me than it does to all of you. So I'm teaching you all routing methods. You see, great. You should know all that already, guys and girls. You know. Anyway, Yang Chan invented methods to learn about the applications. And these methods not only have healing benefits, they all have, uh, well, self-defense benefits, obviously. And they're utility moves. It's not to say you're going to use this method for lift hands every time, you know. It, it'll give you a number of different ways to use lift hands. And it's just a much easier way to get it into your mind to learn about the applications, rather than saying, oh, single whip is for this, for this and then it's for this, you see. It just gives you a little form, and they're brief forms, they're not very difficult to learn. Uh, and it just gives you something extra to do. And each of the forms works upon the meridians, that, that posture. So, say for instance, we're doing uh, grasping swallow's tail as we did the last time I, I taught this. That'll work upon the colon, for instance. Uh, sit back ready, it works upon the lungs and so on. It works the way through the whole form in that, in that way. That's not the important thing. The important thing is simply learning how to do the forms. And needless to say, <coughs> so I won't say it. Okay. This is how we're starting again in the normal starting posture. Remember, we finished with single foot, didn't we? That's right. We finished with single foot. So we're now going into the lift hands posture. So we just start. We don't actually start at single foot, but someone said, can you join them all together? Yes, you can join them together if you wish. It's going to make a very long form and it would be interesting to put it together, to try and put it all together once you get through the whole lot. So you could start from single width if you wish, but there's the normal starting point. The starting point. We're going to do the lift hands posture from here. Did you get that? Okay, that's number one. Number two. Okay, now that's, that's the lift hands posture. That's the form for the brief form for the lift hands method. We'll start from here. We're simply going to do the lift hands. The only difference is you're going to gaze back to the rear, like so. From there, and you wait on your left, right leg. So you're simply going to open, like here's single whip, right? There's the there's the lifting hands method. Right there. In the form, in the younger chance form, we go like this. So from this posture here, we're simply going and you're gazing. You can see, you don't look at it, you can just see your hand over the corner. So you're basically doing the basic application to begin with. Some of them begin with a different application, some of them begin with an application from the next set of moves even. So this one starts with the basic application, so you take your hand back, there's a little pull, and straight back. There's less of, like in the, in the form we're going, it's much more stylized, you see, except if we're doing it in the way we were just doing it earlier. So from here it's just going, like so. Then you're going to do the old crumb blossoms. This hand's going to turn over and grab that wrist that you just poked him in the eye. You poke him in the eye, I'll show you the application in a minute. It's going to grab on his wrist here, and you're going to do the old plum blossom. My weight is centered slightly to the rear leg, that's what you have. So again, from here, it's going to go back. There's a little pull up. Stick him in the eye with or on the neck with your fingers. Now there's the old, from here there's the plum blossoms. Okay, I'll give you the next move. You're going to spin it back to the other direction, you're going to do lift hands again. So now your feet will jump into position. Start off again, then I'll show you the application. So from here, 
do I do it slowly this time? One grab, strike. Plum blossoms, grab his wrist as you plum blossom. Do a swivel and see how you, again, it's the wrists, alright? So up like that and See how your right foot will just move, you don't move because it just comes across by itself. Okay, and again. hands down and grabbing his wrist again. Okay, let's just do up to there. I'll just show you the application. They're pretty obvious. Hook from behind on the right punch. You maybe finish single whip the same. Bang! There you go for that one. You're maybe going to hit you again with his hand. Someone's coming from the other side. I'm going to take care of business over here just to make sure. So I'll cross his top on his uh, stomach nine point. Stomach the other side of the line. Back there. And into his neck. And of course, <laughs> can anyone tell me what the next move is going to be? <laughs> da! It has to be, doesn't it, really? And that's why we're going there, but that is your next move. <laughs> okay, let's have just go through it once again. So, so I'll, I'll start from the correct position. Keep in mind you can start with a single whip, so I'll just start in the correct position. So if you're on your back leg, you're leaning back a little more, there's a little grab and the fingers to the rear. From that position you don't change your weight forward, you just do the old plumb blossoms with a grab though as you do it. So the grab down has to be just as heavy as this slap down with your right hand here. Left hand. Now you're going to hit him across the stomach nine point as well as blocking that attack. Sticking him in the neck or the eyes. Now you're going to do huh? another plum blossoms, just a one step this time. Slide out with your left foot and. So, just to get the correct thing, what you're doing here, the left foot just gets slit like we did in the, one of the first ones when we did this. The left foot gets slid out a little bit at an angle and. And the weight's on your front to finish with. So that's fair to mess. This hand is under your arm. Okay, let's just have a go at that. Thank you, Ben. Okay. Some of these moves include two. So we, we've got two of the postures in this uh, little method, in this root method. So we're also going to go in, so in the form, what do we do? Uh, I come here and then come here, don't we? So that's what we're going to incorporate into this now. <laughs>